Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to very early in the reign of Queen Mary I. But on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of July, 1553, merchant and conspirator Richard Hesketh was born in Lancashire. Hesketh is known for the Hesketh plot of 1593 when he urged Ferdinando Stanley, 5th Earl of Derby, to lead a rebellion to claim the throne of England. Now let me tell you a bit more about Richard Hesketh and his plot because you may not have come across him. Well, Richard Hesketh was the fourth son of landowner Gabriel Hesketh, who was from Orton Newhall in Lancashire, and his mother was Jane Holsall. Hesketh was apprenticed to a man called Hugh Fairclough and became a freeman of the Cloth Workers' Company in London in 1578, when he was 25 years old. He was mentioned by John Dee in his diary in 1581 as a friend and an agent in Antwerp, who, while exporting cloth, also carried letters from Dee to his contacts in Antwerp and who searched for books for Dee as well. Hesketh married widow Isabel Shaw in around 1586, and in 1589 he was forced into exile for three years following his involvement in a riot near Preston, which caused the death of two men. While in exile in Prague, he joined the circle of alchemist Edward Kelly and was protected from trouble when Kelly fell from favour in 1591 by Jesuit Thomas Stevenson. A year later, he was working in intelligence for Sir William Stanley in Flanders, who was there fighting on behalf of Spain and who was supporting the claim of Henry Stanley, 4th Earl of Derby, to the throne of England. Hesketh returned to England in the summer of 1593 and in September 1593, he travelled to Latham House, home of the Stanleys. Henry Stanley died that very day and his son, Ferdinando, became the 5th Earl of Derby. Ferdinando had a claim to the throne as his mother was Lady Margaret Clifford, granddaughter of Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, and Mary Tudor, Queen of France, sister of King Henry VIII. Hesketh put forward the idea that Ferdinando should lead a revolt against Elizabeth I and claim the throne. Ferdinando had two meetings with Hesketh regarding Hesketh's plot, but when Hesketh joined him on his journey to the royal court at Windsor, Ferdinando took him as a prisoner and turned him over to the Queen's Privy Council. Hesketh was interrogated at Ditton House near Windsor Castle and on the 15th of October 1593, Hesketh confessed to the plot. On the 24th of November, he was tried for treason at St Albans as London was affected by an outbreak of plague, his trial being presided over by Sir Thomas Egerton, Attorney General. Hesketh was found guilty and executed on the 29th of November 1593, denying his Catholic faith. On the 5th of April 1594, Ferdinando was suddenly taken ill, vomiting violently, his vomit being described as the colour of soot or rusty iron. Ferdinando believed that he'd been bewitched and others claimed that he'd been poisoned. He took all kinds of medicines, including the Zoa stone and unicorn's horn, but nothing worked. He died on the 16th of April, 1594. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of July, 1567, 24-year-old Mary, Queen of Scots, who was imprisoned at Loch Leven Castle and who was recovering after miscarrying twins, was threatened with violence and forced to abdicate. Her young son, James, became King James VI of Scotland in her place. And you can find out more about what happened in last year's video, and you'll find a link to that in the description for this video. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel, and please do, as it does help other people find my videos. Uh, just there, just click there. You can hit the like button, you can leave a comment, and you can also hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.